Hey loves, it's your girl Miss Recipe. Thank you for clicking on this video. If it's your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Hey to my loves, thank you for coming back. This is like forever since I've done a sit down video. Like it really has been a minute. I do apologize. I've been putting out a lot of vlogs. I've just haven't had a lot of time to sit down and get myself together to make a sit down video. I've been kind of sick. I feel a little better now. I kind of sound a little nasally. I apologize, but it is what it is. So I wanted to bring you guys a May favorites video, which I normally do a month of these favorites. I just didn't have anything that really stuck out this month of May because I've been not really wearing much makeup and I've been rocking the same hair, doing the same thing. Like, I haven't really done anything new. I have tons of new products that I'm going to be trying in the month of June. So I'm excited about June's favorites. In the meantime, I figured I would sh share with you guys some of the empties that I've collected since my last empty video. So if you're interested in seeing that, then please stay tuned. Alright guys, so this will be a collective of makeup, um, natural hair products, skincare, all that good stuff, how I normally do my things. So I'm just going to pull stuff out and get to talking. So this is... Ooh, I got hair coming from it. <laughs> From Cantu, this is Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coconut Curling Cream. Y'all, this is so old, number one. Like, and I literally had like a corner. Look how much I got left in this. And I'm like, why do I still have this? Um, I love the smell of this. I love the smell of all of Cantu products. I'm actually going to go back to their leave-in conditioner because it was bay when I first went natural. And I don't know why. Like, I never repurchased it and I'm not sure why. But this was okay. Um, this is okay. I wouldn't say it helped curl my hair, specifically my hair type. I do like it. It was very moisturizing. I will say that. Um, that's all I can really think about it. I won't repurchase that. This is another product I've had forever. This is the Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Smooth and Whole Pudding. Um, this is another one that I was like, let me just throw this away. There's literally dust on the lid. There's a little bit left in there, but I was mostly using this like, I might put this on my weave or something. This is a great product. I won't say that it's not a great product. It's just not for my hair type. So if you're 4C coarse hair, I don't think this will be, do anything for you. It's not going to smooth or hold a darn thing, okay? I did like to put it, mix it with Eco Style Gel for my twist outs, and I kind of like it there. It doesn't moisturize very well. But it's good. It, it says it's a moisturizing gel, but a moisturizing gel? Come on. So it's okay. Like, seriously, if you have like 3C, 4A hair, I think you would really like this because it does give you a little hold if you have that type of hair type. My hair type, no. So, of course, that won't be repurchased. This is the Milk of Magnesia. If you watch it in my beauty videos, you know I use this as a primer. Um... I am going to repurchase another one of these. I'm throwing this away because it's solid. <laughs> um, I've used most of it. It's like pretty much right here, but I must have left it open or something. But I like this as a primer. Uh, I have on and off oily skin. I don't know. I am guess at this point I'm combination. I don't know what's going on with my skin. But I do like to put it on my, I guess you can call it T-zone. Um, it's most of my nose. Most of my nose, but I do still put it on my forehead and right here. But it's mostly my nose that gets really, really shiny. And it depends on, like, what products I use and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out what products are making me oily, what is not. It's been a challenge, which is why I said I haven't really tried anything new in May. Because I just want to, like, stop everything and just let my skin get back to normal. And in June, like I said, I have a lot of products that I'm going to be trying. So as far as my hair, if I ever take this weave out, y'all. <laughs> and um, also for my skin. So digging more in the bag, I have another one of these deodorants. I don't know, did I mention this in my favorites video or my empties? I believe in my favorites, my April favorites, I mentioned this deodorant. This is uh, from Dow Professional and Crystal Breeze is the scent. This is very good. I paid a dollar for this from Dollar Tree. Um, very good deodorant. I would repurchase. This is another oldie. Like this package is rude. <laughs> I was cleaning out my vanity and I'm like, oh my god, like you can't even tell what this is, you guys. It looks horrible, but this foundation was freaking bay. This is Mary, Mary Kay's Medium Coverage Foundation. Uh, I had was in the color bronze. This is for normal to oily skin. 
I really, really like this foundation. I really do did. Um, and I'm not sure why I didn't repurchase. Well, probably because of the price. Because Mary Kay is not cheap. But I would repurchase this if I had an opportunity to. Here we have, this is Vitamin C Serum. This is from Art Naturals. I actually think, let me see if I got the other one in here. Yeah, this is the one I've always showed you guys from OZ Naturals. And this was from Art Naturals. They're both Vitamin C Serums. Um, if you're interested in wanting a comparison on these two products, let me know. Um, overall, I will purchase one of the two. I think I think I like the Art Naturals better, but I don't know. Like I used this one longer, and I so I saw better results because I used this one longer. If that makes sense. But I like this one because it actually seemed like it was doing something at that moment. If you get what I'm saying, I know that's kind of weird, but I'm the type of person I kind of like want to feel some type of tingling. And then it was like a color. This looked like water. This is actually yellow. So um, regardless, I'm going to be purchasing a vitamin C serum. Regardless, because I like that as part of my skincare routine. If you have watched that video, you know that. So it may be from one of those brands and maybe another. I get a lot of stuff for a very low price by doing Amazon reviews. So whichever brand has one, then that's what I'm going to hop on, okay? So we have another makeup product. I'm sorry these are not in order. I hope you guys don't mind. This is from Black Radiance. This is BB Cream. Y'all know this is Bay. This has been in a favorites video. I have posted this on Instagram. I really like this BB Cream. I've already repurchased another one. And um, this one was in the color Cafe. It actually wasn't my color, but it worked out very well for me. So like I said, I already purchased another one. I definitely recommend this BB Cream. Next, these are Equate Flushable Wipes. So this is more like personal hygiene side. Um, these, I love these things right here. These are just the refill pack. I keep the little, when I first bought it a long time ago, I kept the um, hardcover one and I just buy these or I buy um, just the refill packs. And these are like $1.50 maybe at Walmart. These are very good. Personally, myself, I love to wipe off with with the these little tilettes. And then I use tissue to dry up. But these are great. They're um, they're flushable and they have never given me any issues down there. So, and I have system skin, so they're hypoallergenic, al alcohol free. So, from Walmart, Equate brand. Okay, this next favorite is some vitamins. These are Sundown Naturals Hair, Skin, and Nails vitamins. I get these from Dollar General. Um, they have 5,000 mcg of biotin in them. I really like these. Um, I stopped taking them for a while because I switched over to the Nature Brownie Gummies. Big mistake. But anywho, they work pretty well for me. Like, I really enjoy these. I will be going back to these after I finish the Nature Bounty Vitamins. Only thing about these, the serving size is three. And I just discovered that. I would never, I always took one of these. And my skin and my nails grew very well with just taking one of these. So I was not getting all the buy intent in it. But I do recommend this product. It is a good price. So like I said, I get this from Dollar General. And there's always a coupon. If you're a couponer, check out your Sunday paper. There's usually always a coupon for Sundown Naturals. Or they have these like buy one, get one free at Dollar General or Walgreens or CVS. This is um, some hand soap. This is a refill. I use the soap from Dollar Tree. You may recognize this. And this is such a great deal, you guys. This is 21 fluid ounces for one dollar and this stuff is literally just like the Dow gold soap so I like to use this to wash my hands um, with so yeah that's Dollar Tree and the last empty also from my favorite store Dollar Tree this is witch hazel solution um what is the name of the other one I use the witch hazel from Walmart Mm, I have to think of the name. Hopefully, I can think of it and put it in the screen. Put it on the screen. But I know I've had it in a in a video before. But I ran out of that one. I finally ran out of that one, and I was like in in Dollar Tree, and I saw this. So I am currently trying this out. It's empty because I put it in this bottle from Dollar Tree. Isn't this the coolest freaking thing? Then it's purple. Number one. I hope they restock these because I want some more of these. But I um this pretty much filled up this. It had a little bit extra and it has a little pump and you just press this with your little 
cotton pad and that's how I use that witch hazel so I'm currently using this so far it's been fine I don't see much of a difference from the one that I use from Walmart so that is everything you guys in my empties and like I said next month we will definitely be back with a June favorites because I know I have a lot of stuff coming I'm actually trying out some new products right now on my face um, shout out to influencer for sending me the CoverGirl Queen collection, I received a lipstick, I received a foundation, and this mascara. So I will talk about that later. I will have an Instagram post on it if you're interested in seeing it. But if it makes it to my favorites, you'll see it. We shall see. This is my first time wearing it. If you don't know what Influencer is, you definitely need to get on it. Um, you do not have to be a YouTuber to be on Influencer. You just need to have be on social media. So I, that link is always in my description bar along with other um, links. Definitely check out those. Um, and I think that's it, you guys. It's been your girl, Miss Rusty T. Don't forget to live, learn, record, and then share, y'all. Smooch it.